Walmart's the largest private employer in the country. Most of you probably don't know that. Now you do. Thank you. You appreciate you watching the best business show. You learn every day. Largest private employer in the country. They are now going to pay 100% of college tuition for employees. Bang, bang, Walmart. You guys are awesome. This includes college tuition and books at a group of schools for its part-time or full-time associates through its Live Better You education program. The fact that Walmart is willing to pay for college tuition and books for part-time or full-time associates is cool to start with. But originally, this program was designed after they consulted with experts, reviewing other employer-provided education programs, and studying the research around what helps drive completion rates among adult working learners. And it used to cost employees $1 a day. If you were an employee, you paid $1 a day, and then you got into this program. But they have now committed nearly $1 billion over the next five years in career-driven training and development and removed the $1 a day requirement. So it went from $1 a day to $0 a day. <laughs> Great job, Walmart. They said, quote, we are creating a path of opportunity for our associates to grow their careers at Walmart so they can continue to build better lives for themselves and their families. Lorena, Lorraine, Lorena, how do we think to say that? Lorraine? Lorraine I apologize if I'm Lorraine. pronouncing it incorrectly. Uh, this is great. Second quote, we are also excited to add in-demand college degrees and certificate options in business administration, supply chain, and cybersecurity. These additional offerings join a robust catalog of programs to set associates up for new career opportunities. I mean, this is awesome. The fact that Walmart is going to be paying for part-time or full-time associates to go to college completely on Walmart's dime, get educated, and retrain so that they can have career opportunities. Is there anybody in the world who could hate Walmart for this? There's two stats I want to point out. I thought you were going to say there's two people. Go no, ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> two stats I want to point out. Student loan debt, $1.7 trillion. Terrible job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and Walmart has 1.5 million part-time and full-time associates. Like... I don't think people realize the ramifications of this, that you, there's no minimum time frame that you have to work at Walmart either. On your first day of employment, you get access to this program. But the real question is, to play devil's advocate, would they their, their minimum wage is $11 per hour. How many people do you think would rather $15 an hour not have access to this program? Because you know there was some kind of, there was obviously a study done around like how much is it going to cost Walmart versus other scenarios. Well, they're the, private, the largest private employer, so there's a lot of people. Of course, yeah, of course, I'm saying. They obviously did studies that said, hey, look, this is how many people we expect to use the program. This is how much it would cost if they chose this school and this, the, the cost of this education versus if we did some of this other stuff. So a company like Chipotle, we've talked about them before, offers a similar program, but they also offer $15 an hour and said, hey, look, we're going to get you in this program where if you're, you're still here in three to four years and progressing, you should be making around $100,000 a year. Chipotle pays for college as well? They have like an assistance program that's similar. So I don't know if it's every dollar for dollar match, yep. but they help you get educated and, and pay some of the Does expenses. Chipotle have 1.5 million employees? No, no, no of course. So, <laughs> so that, that's my point. But say, uh, say you're at Walmart um, and you don't have a desire to go to school or whatever it might be. There's a bunch of scenarios as to why you may not want that education or, or may not uh, take You'd Walmart up on it. Wage. Yeah, I'm saying there's obviously a subset of people that would rather, it, right? Yep. So I wonder if it was the decision for Walmart, like, hey, this will get us some really good PR. It's it's good for employees that want to use it. Uh, but on the bottom line, if we just put everyone to $15 and didn't offer this, we're going to save more money by just offering them the ability to go get educated. Well, they initially launched this program in 2018. Over, over 50,000 people have already uh gone through the program i think it is what twenty eight thousand have been activated just this summer part of this show one of the things that i really enjoy about this show is one we're going to educate people two we're going to help you get software so that you can actually make a difference in your own life three is we're going to give you some cash if uh you do all the things that we tell you to do so that you can actually uh use that money for whatever you want but four is we're going to celebrate people doing good things i feel like on a scale of one to ten this is an 11 from walmart it's great it's great part-time associates getting college paid for like we it's more great, but we need to see the results of how many people are actually doing it. You know what I mean? Because if it comes down to it where like the Walmart employees aren't interested in doing it and there's no uh, kind of push or acceleration to get them to go do it, and they're like, you know, Walmart ends up spending a fraction of what we expected them to spend on it. And not to say that they should spend the most money possible, uh, but if it comes down to $15 minimum wage, which might actually help people pay their bills, say someone's 35 years old and not going to college or 45 years old and works at Walmart as a cashier and would rather $15 an hour versus college education – that that's different. I, I right? agree with it's that. It's great that they're doing something. Don't get me wrong. We're not going to hate on them for that. <laughs> when I ask who would be against it, it sounds like no. Joe, I'm not Joe against it at all. Two out of ten. <laughs> I'm not against it at all. Is it eleven out of ten, or, or are you putting it a nine out of ten? Depends on what the numbers look like. <laughs> all we'll right. see. The only thing better than Walmart paying for people to go to college would be 
if they literally told everyone, go watch the best business show and get a SoFi account. Like that would be the only <laughs> thing better than this in my book. So 11 out of 10 Walmart, congratulations.